Hello everybody, here am I again. Um, I'll be more awake than last time. It was pretty bad. I was trying to record a video late at night and I sounded like a zombie. So uh, everything I did was just... Uh, but okay, now I'm fully awake. Okay, uh, today we are going to talk about how to qualify language learners. Okay, and of course this is in my point of view. Okay, from 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 where I see language learners, there are only two kinds of language learners. Okay, there is the student who is striving to learn something and is humble, um, humbly looking for the answers he needs or she needs, and is humble to ask questions, to show weaknesses, to put themselves to the test even to expose them to ridicule, sometimes trying to speak in a different language and sounding terrible, but at least giving an option, giving themselves an option to be corrected by other people. Okay, so this is the first category. The second category is the teacher. The teacher is the one that already knows something in some different language and is able to teach, or just by knowing and passing it on he's already a teacher you know it doesn't matter if the person is fluent or not it doesn't matter if the person mastered a hundred percent the grammar or not if the person has a couple words more in a language than another person he automatically he is a potential teacher okay uh okay now some of you may think no no to, to teach, to teach a language, a person must know it really well, must know it um, at least fluently. That is actually not true because we in life, we are always students and we are always teachers. Okay, uh, I remember I was looking for some for somebody that knew Swahili so it could help me out with some structure, or vocab, or whatever, because my Swahili was, was really um, low. I didn't have much knowledge in Swahili. And I have a friend, that's, uh, she's from Kenya, and she speaks three or four different languages. Uh, and I was talking to her, and I was like, hey, I, I know you speak Swahili, can you teach me? And she was like, oh, no, no, my, my Swahili is terrible. I, I, I don't know anything in Swahili. I know enough to talk to the to the cab drivers and my mom and my dad, and that's it. What she didn't pay attention, what what she just said was that, oh, I have the ability to to get myself where I need to go, meaning location, directions, imperative language, um, and then. She was talking to her mom and her father, that meaning I know the colloquial level of the language and I know familiar terms. So she knew way more than I did because I've never, I've never talked to a cab driver in Swahili. My mom and my dad doesn't speak Swahili, they don't speak Swahili. So at that point, I could explain to her that she could teach what she knew. A teacher is not somebody that is an expert. Otherwise, we, we would probably call them a doctor or a professor in that language. But a teacher is just somebody that teaches something, you know. We're not calling them a master. We're call, just calling them a teacher, you know. Uh, people need to understand that once you are in one level and there's a person that is slightly above your level, this person is your potential teacher. And this person is this person's potential student, okay? From, from the moment we start analyzing these things as the only two categories there are in language learning, we won't have problems anymore of criticizing people, putting people through hard times because they made mistakes or they, they don't have something perfect, perfectly done. You know, for example, a lot of people talk about accents. Oh, that person speaks Chinese, but he has a very heavy Japanese accent on it. Oh, they have a 
Hindi accent on it. I haven't heard that type of accent, but just for illustration here, um, a lot of people use that, that comment. But uh, guess what? Everybody has an accent. Even in your native language, somebody has, uh, people have an accent. You know, um, uh, if you're from England, you have a British accent. If you're from America, you have an American accent. Of course, Americans will not say, oh, I have an American accent. Or British people will say, oh, I have a British accent. Accents are only viewed by the listener. Or they are only heard by the listener. That's the only person that can determine the accent. And an accent is everything and anything different from their native language. For example, I speak Brazilian Portuguese, right? So to people from Portugal, I have a Brazilian accent. From people from Brazil, uh, for people from Brazil, if they are from the same state as I am, I don't have an accent. But if, if they are from, for example, Rio de Janeiro or um, uh, Rio Grande do Sul, which is in the south, then I'll have a Sao Paulo accent. If it's some, somebody from the north part of Brazil, they'll say, oh, you have a Sao Paulo accent. Or somebody will have um, what people from, from Rio de Janeiro we call Carioca. So you have a Carioca accent. So everybody has an accent. So if you're listening to somebody that is speaking a language with an accent, leave them alone. They, they will improve it, you know? The, the more we criticize somebody, less we are helping that person. And guess what? We are not helping ourselves either, you know? Because we are autom automatically put us in a place of a judge. And guess what? None of us are perfect on any language, believe me. You know, you can talk to English professors at, at, at a, any university. You can talk to native speakers you, of other languages. You will always find mistakes on their language, in their, in their language, always. Okay, so let's praise people for what they know, not for how much they lack. Okay, and with also with accents, there's another uh, difficulty. When you're learning or you've learned more than one language, you, the chances of you not having an accent in, in any of those languages is slim to none. Because your mind is, has one original language, your native language. And then you pick up a second language. You can even master that and become fluent and have a near native um, accent on that. But the more languages you, you pick up, harder it becomes for you to develop a good accent uh, on that language, okay? You, you may become uh, understandable, you may understand other people in a native level, but there will be always something holding us back. If we enforce the language, for example, right now as I'm speaking to you, I'm making sure that my vowels are close, as close as possible to the English vowels, that I'm not putting any Portuguese pronunciation, even in the way that I say Rio de Janeiro. That is an English ac accent in saying that, that name or São Paulo. There is an English accent speaking that because you are um, English speakers or second language speakers of English who are listening to, to this video. So I'm adapting my accent to English the best I can, you know. So you can force yourself to have that. But if you're in a very um, natural and friendly environment, you're not going to pay attention to those things. You know, you're going to speak as you wish. Um, you're going to speak in, in, a, in a way that you have a pleasant communication. Otherwise, you'll sound like two uh, newcasters talking to each other, and, and nobody does that. Okay? So, this is my opinion. You know, uh, I really believe that uh, there, there are, I really believe that there are only two categories, teachers and students. Which ca category do you fit in? Think about it. What can you teach and what can you let somebody teach you? Let's get out of the criticism zone. Let's get out of the point of judgment and take a stand. We are either students 
or we are, we are teachers. Eventually, you're, pass, you're going to pass from a student to teacher. But once, when, when you do that, once you reach that point, humility must pass from the student to the teacher too, because we need to be humble enough to look at somebody that do, doesn't know something that we do and teach them so they can reach the same level we reached. Okay, so uh, if you think differently, uh, leave your comment, uh, your idea, what you think. And if you have any questions, just post it and I'll get back to you. Okay, talk to you later.